It's me, Nim Sunny. Welcome back to another VR video. Today you're probably wondering where have I where have I been for a while? Well, actually nobody's probably wondering that because I know that I randomly make videos sometimes and sometimes I just stop. But I have actually been on holiday over in Turkey, somewhere, somewhere. It's very hot over there and it's very um I did a lot of fun things. I actually uh, went um jet what's it called? What's it called? Um, flyboarding. Yes, the Zapato flyboard is what I believe it was originally called. You're probably wondering what I'm doing here. So, back to making videos. Right now, and um, right now I've been working on the physics systems once again in VR. And everything you're seeing here is actually not something that I've done um, before. Well, I have done it before, but I haven't done it this way. So I actually showed um, a short GIF on... Uh, on Reddit for a while, um, which was about active ragdoll in VR. This here, as you can see by the arm, is actually active ragdoll, entirely ragdoll. It's not the old physics system where you've got floating hands connected to the body. Everything is 100% ragdoll. And you can see it pretty much tracks the hands perfectly even then. Look at the controller even though it's active ragdoll. So there's actually force limitations and the usual stuff. And I've also added some cool sword physics. So you can actually stab and look, it actually holds it in, as you can see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And pull it out and push. Yep, pushing works. Of course, you can see here by the wall as well. If I push, it actually pushes with my arm, not just my hand. And of course the sword, also stops completely there. You can probably hear some stuff going on in there, um, behind there, that's because there's another character who is also fully ragdoll. And you can see here, I can shove my sword right through this apple. Uh, yeah, these are spherical apples, perfectly uh, spherical. And it actually does connect. And you can see I can just pull it up and throw it off. <laughs> uh, let's get another one here. There we go. And then, and you can just throw it like that. And of course the arm does start jumping about a bit. So here we've got some test boxes. One's very light and the other one's very heavy. So push, boing, nice and easy, nice and easy. And this one, not so not so easy. It was quite heavy that. Look. You can see nothing happens with it. Whereas nice and easy. Ding. Just push them all about, tick, tick, tick. Let's go have a look at the other guy. So you're probably wondering, this is actually completely, uh, something completely unique and completely new. Nobody's tried to do this in VR, like at all. Literally nobody. Um, nobody's tried to do the physics hands in the first place that are connected directly to the body, uh, which means you can actually climb and stuff without any extra faking and faking stuff. But uh, this goes m far more than one step beyond that. It's entirely ragdoll physics while having complete VR control. And you can see here, even with another ragdoll here, active ragdoll guy, I have complete physics-based control. Ooh. No, no, oh, he got me. Now the hits don't register perfectly, uh, simply because I've set force limits on them. So sometimes, you see, it doesn't actually make a noise. Whereas other times, it definitely does. And you can actually, again, with the stabby system, oh, if I can, it's very good at blocking. If I can, you know what? I'll show you in a different way. Let's get away from it. Ooh, that was brilliant. That was just perfect. Well, while he's running towards me, look carefully at this hand. One, two, three. And I can shove a sword right through my own hand. Brilliant. Um, this would work with any part of your body, so you can shove it through your leg as well. There we go. Now I can walk with a sword smacking me in the leg. And of course I can push him. Oh, 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 oh. Now here we go. Here we go. We've got a glitchy hand. Let's get it. Let's get it fixed. There we go. Yes. So obviously not perfect, but it definitely is better than what it was before. You can literally just 
completely control your body. Oh, there we go. I've got to stop right on him. Of course, I can go and miss. <laughs> oh, yeah. You want to mess with me, huh? Go. His his attacks are kind of animated, but he uses the VR tracking system, so he's able to track his animations and control himself via the physics ragdoll entirely. So it's not actually animated ragdoll or anything like that. He's animated, uh, his tracking is animated, and then it acts the same way that mine does like in VR. So he's basically another VR guy. So this essentially would work perfectly in multiplayer, if of course we got the physics and everything networked correctly. Now I've actually set him to slightly weaker than me, so I can push his things out of the way and then and you can see my sword stays stabbed into him but I can remove it let's do some crazy jumping Whee! again I'm using the walker motion system nice and easy and of course here let's do some jumping dives Wah! oh that didn't work very well yeah oh I missed <laughs> oh, one more time one Two, three, we are. Oh, come on. You go in, and then you don't come out again. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Brilliant. Anyways, that's this video. I'm going to be messing around with this active ragdoll based physics because this is absolutely necessary for perfect VR later on. Uh, this, is, this is sort of a stepping stone, but a very, very, very big stepping stone towards... Um, Ready Player One styled VR because we're gonna need to have 100% body interactions into the game world and this is the way to do it. 100% physics based character. Oh, nope, I can't stab myself. In, uh, I can hit myself though. Anyways, that's the end of this video. Goodbye!